Hey y'all, it's your girl Sheree and welcome back or welcome to Sheree's Life Luxury if you are new and if you're true, thank you so much for coming back and joining us. Today we have a cute little video, it's kind of a little haul where we're going to be talking about our my Bottega finds and we're going to be talking about whether they dupe designer Bottega or if they're designer designer Bottega okay so we're gonna be diving into which one of my items are which um, so the first thing I want to talk about are these shoes so you probably would have seen these shoes in a previous um, haul video probably one of my Shein haul videos because that's where I got them from I wanted to go ahead and mention them again these shoes are super cute I don't really wear them that often because it just got warm again here in Atlanta so I haven't been able to pull out the sandals or the mules but now I finally can they have this cute cute little kitten heel um, it's actually a very short heel very walkable these are very comfortable shoes I got these in a size Euro 40 two which is probably a, a size 10 um us because that's what size i typically wear and i actually really love these shoes so if i can find the link to these i'll link them down below again they are from shein um you could probably find some similar if i can't find the link by typing in padded mule heel on shein or padded heel padded mule whatever um, comes to mind about these shoes you could probably search them up on Shein and find them so of course they're different just because this little part here on the front is a, a different shape than the real Bottegas of course they don't say Bottega and they don't have the grippers on the bottom but other than that these are a very good dupe and they are very cute and they get the job done as far as completing a outfit or completing a look personally I think these shoes look the best with um, French tip toes like all Bottega shoes look so good with French tips on your toes so you heard it here first period so these are a dupe um, you could probably already tell I don't really have to tell you that so yes I can't wait to actually start wearing those now um, when I do start wearing those I'll probably wear them with this this is a dupe of the Bottega cassette bag um, and it's a very, very good dupe. I must say so myself. I, I really must say so. And where did I get this from? Did I get it from Shein? Oh, no, I got this from Fashion Nova. So it does have a pocket on the inside of the bag that says Fashion Nova right here. It's a little pocket. You can't really fit anything here, but maybe some change or a card. Um, so yeah, there's not much space in this bag, so I don't really carry it that often. And it does have a few like strings, you probably can't see them, but it does have some strings hanging off of the bag. So um, it's not the best quality, but it does do the job as far as um, being a Bottega dupe. I really love the size of it actually, even though it doesn't fit much, it is actually a pretty good size bag. And it almost completely and absolutely replicates the Bottega bag. I think something about the strap is different. I'll pop up a picture, of course, like I always do. But something about the strap is different on this. But other than that, it almost is identical. And that's why I like these Bottega Duke bags and why I like Bottega bags in general. Because they don't scream Bottega. They don't say Bottega all over it. They don't have any logos on their bag at all. You can't really tell whether it's a real Bottega or not. So instead of spending all of that money on a bag that looks almost exactly like this, I just went ahead and grabbed this one from Fashion Nova. I wasn't really looking like all of the Bottega items you guys are going to see in this video. I wasn't actually looking for any of them. They just kind of happened to fall into my lap. And I was like, ooh, this looks like Bottega. Or ooh, this is cute. And then I ended up realizing like, I might be becoming a Bottega girl. Like I, I might be loving this, this brand. So yeah, just like the shoes, I haven't really worn this bag much at all. You can kind of tell it hasn't really been worn at all, but I probably will start wearing it. The, 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 I can't talk. I couldn't say, oh my God, the strap. 
I keep getting strapped and chained, like tongue tied. But the strap slash chain um, is not adjustable, but let's see. Oh yeah, but it's actually a really good length. I don't know why I don't carry this bag. Like why, <laughs> why don't I carry it? I guess cause it doesn't fit a whole lot. It would probably fit my phone, my wallet and a lip gloss. Even though it looks big, it's very slender, like two finger slender. Um, so it probably wouldn't even fit like both of my phones or it probably wouldn't fit my keys. It probably would not fit like a portable charger or a camera, if you have a camera, it probably wouldn't fit any of that. So I don't really carry it that often. However, it's perfect for, you know, a day out or a night out. If I just wanted a little crossbody bag for a night out with the girls, I could do that. And the thing I love about this is um, if I wanted to also, I could tuck, which I have been doing, I can just tuck the chain right into the bag. Although I will say that the chain pretty much, the chain and strap pretty much takes up the entire bag. So yeah, as you can see, but you could tuck it in and kind of wear it like so as a clutch if you didn't want to actually wear it crossbody, which I don't know if you could do this with the real Bottega bag. Like, I don't think you could tuck the strap. Correct me down below if I'm wrong, but I like that you can I like that you can tuck this one. I don't know, I keep getting tongue tied. This is my fourth video of the day that I've recorded today. So maybe that's why. So yeah. Anyways, moving right along. Um, the next item I have is actually authentic Bottega. So this is real Bottega. This is not no dupe, no faux, no fake, no knockoff as y'all like to call it because y'all like to tussle. Um, <laughs> this ain't no fake-ish. These are the real Bottega Bonettas. Um, these really, really caught my eye in the store. First of all, the color is what caught my eye because I'm like, ooh, I can wear those with everything. And then this little bracelet around the ankle, like it's an anklet on the shoe. Like this is how the shoe stays on with this bracelet. So I don't know if this ever broke how I would keep the shoe on, but this is how it comes. And um, I have been seeing a lot of the girls wearing the netted type shoe, um, the square toe one, but I saw this in the round toe and I still had to have it. Like, even though the square toe is trendier, these are still really cute and classic and the shape is a very classic shape um, of shoe. So this may or may not go out of style. It may be out of style, this style of shoe, like this toe area, it might be out of style, I don't know, but I really love it. It's almost like a pointed toe and it looks so good on my foot. Um, now I will say this strap in here is so painful. I'm not sure if the square toe one has a strap like this on the inside or not. I'll have to look it up and see, but this strap on this shoe hurts so bad, like so bad. I actually got these shoes in a 40 and a half. So what is that, like a nine and a half, something like that. So yeah, I love them. They, you know, come in a dust bag or whatever. I love the fact that they have the grippers on the bottom. I love the netting. I love that you can still see my toe, my or my toes through the net here. I love the, like I said, I love the gold chain um, strap that holds the shoe on and you do actually clip it open and close just like a bracelet or anklet. Um, I love that. The heel height is actually great. It's probably like four inches tall, uh, maybe five. And like I said, these shoes hurt really bad. So that's hilarious. All of the other shoes that I'm gonna show you that are dupe Bottega shoes, or that I have shown you, they're very comfortable. These hurt like hell. So um, <laughs> these were upwards of $900 and um, they're the most painful ones. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's food for thought. So yeah, I keep them in the dust bag and um, I got them from Sex Fifth. So moving right along, the next pair of shoes I have are these cream Bottega dupe sandal mule heels. They're super cute. I love this color as well. Um, again, just like the other ones, I gravitated towards those because of the color. I really like this color as well. Um, of all of the items I've shown you in this video, these have been the most worn item. I actually worn these quite a few times. The only thing about these are my um, foot fits in them perfectly because I have fat feet. Um, they fit in them perfectly. They don't hold, 
They don't hurt my toes or my feet at all. And the heel is not too high at all. It's perfect for walking. But when I put on lotion or even if my feet start to sweat or something, my foot actually slides down. And so you kind of see the toes hanging off here, kind of like this. And you see how it's like wide? You see how wide it looks? That's how it looks on my foot. Like this part just looks really wide on my foot. So I think that's like the only downside of these shoes. But other than that, they're very comfortable to walk in, very easy to match up to outfits. And they're the perfect shoes to throw on when I really just need something to match a outfit that I don't have shoes for. And they're really, really cute. I love the padding. I don't have any grippers on the bottom of these, but that's okay because they're very easy to walk in with the low heel. These I'm 99 and a half percent sure came from Shein, even though they don't say Shein. And these were a size 10. Did I get these from Play-Doh's Closet? I may have gotten these from Play-Doh's Closet, guys. I might not have gotten them from Shein. Um, well, so I'm 50% sure they're from Shein and I'm 50% sure they're from Play-Doh's Closet. I don't really remember, but Yes, these were a steal of a deal. Wherever I got them from, I paid less than $10 for them. Actually, the purse that I bought and both pair of dupe designer Bottega shoes that I bought were all under $20 uh, for each item. Those are a great deal. They are still, these are basically like new. So if I did get them from Play-Dohs, they're pretty much brand new shoes. Someone else probably had the same problem. I got them in a size 10 if I didn't say that already. Um, so whoever did get them in a size 10, if they had a smaller or skinnier, slender, if they had a smaller or skinnier or more slender foot than me, then I can definitely see why they would have given these away. Um, they probably didn't look very flattering on the foot. But what I do is I always wear these with ankle bracelets and that just makes it look more flattering on my feet. Um, again, very easy to walk in. And those are my go-to Bottega, Bottega shoes. So that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way to this point. If you made it all the way here and you're not subscribed, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button that's down below and thumbs up this video if you like what you saw. And make sure you have your post notification bell turned on so that you'll be notified when I post a new video for the simple fact that sometimes YouTube doesn't really show um, our videos on the main page or um, and YouTube doesn't really send out an automatic notification to you unless your post notification bell is on. So you could literally miss a video until you, you know, like until it comes to mind like, oh, I haven't seen Sheree on YouTube in a while. Let me go see if she posted a new video. Like, so to avoid that, just make sure that your notification bell is turned on and make sure you're following me on Instagram. Um, both of my Instagram pages will be linked down below. My personal one, Luxury, and the Luxury Collection. Both of them will be linked in the description box so that you can follow me on there because I don't really um, post on YouTube as consistently as I would like to right now, but I do post on Instagram. Instagram very consistently because it's easy to just hop on, post something on my page or on my story and hop back off. So make sure you're following me there. Okay, video number four is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. And if you didn't get it, um, I was talking about how I recorded four videos in one day today. So this one is a wrap. This is the last one for the day. So catch you guys in the next one. Bye.